All right, we are back for round three on the draw. Uh, this end is quite borderline. It's a bit heavy on land. Two of those are man lands, though, which kind of helps with that. And we have a decent curve of turn one attune, turn two rampager. I think it's a keep, but it's quite borderline. If we draw a couple more lands, we'll be in trouble. Uh, remember, this is a 20 land deck, though, plus the four attune. Uh, and this end is fine against mono red. As again, Rampager is really a pain in the ass for them to deal with. Drawing a land here was atrocious. The literal worst drawing the entire la deck, but... Uh, yeah, not much we can do. Knowing that I was playing against Mono Red, I would still keep that hand. Oh jeez, they have the, the nut draw here. Alright. Nisa is not great, it's not really what we wanted to see. They should hold the fort for a little bit, but we need to draw some action. Like we kind of just keep drawing cards that we don't need. Definitely gonna block Bomat Courier if they attack with Earthing. As it plays around Shock, even though they most likely have a three damage spell in hand, and but mostly getting rid of Courier is a good way to make sure they don't beat you in the later game. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, that was action, pretty good action. Uh, I think we just play Nisa and make uh, an O1 and pass. We are at 12, but starting next turn we should be getting some... Oh, they have the Hazaret. Ah, that's gonna be difficult. Yeah. But if you look at it, we both, like this round and round one, we we both, both time we lost the die roll and played against the most insane draw possible from Mono Red pre-match. And both time we are pretty close to being in a spot where we might get to win. So, you know. I think this is a pretty good showing that this matchup is, is just quite solid in general. Uh, and here we <laughs> we kept a borderline hand and drew very poorly, so it's just like things could difficultly have gone worse than that, and we are still doing fine somehow. Not f great, but you know we can maybe come back. So we can p use Nisa to get a couple plants, chum block Hazaret for a little bit. We can here we can double block Karizev and kill the monkey and or the messenger. I think it's fine, yeah. But I, I don't think we can afford to draw any more land. And if they have a couple decent things in hand, maybe a Chandra or something like that, it's gonna be real difficult. Suck that, sure. Rampager is just amazing. amazing. Look at what it did this game. It just ate a, a Gorger, it saved a ton of damage. Looks like they just don't care about Nisa. The thing. I kind of understand why, but on the other hand, Nissan is preventing 5 damage every turn by sending a, a plant token at Hazaret, and they don't necessarily know that we have another Nisa in the in hand, so I don't know about this, this move, it feels weird. Uh, so we, if we attune... We actually cannot blossoming defense anymore. So I think we'll just play as our hub, pass and leave uh, with the possibility to animate Quagmire. Oh, uh, I guess that was a little bit stupid because we can always tap the Quagmire to blossoming defense, but then we cannot block with it. No, I think it's right to do that because if we go animate Quagmire, they shock before blocker. Uh, it's a little bit annoying. 
We'll need to eventually draw uh, something though, like a grasp, otherwise Hazard is just gonna kill us with its ability plus the, the lands. <laughs> they can't re-attack anymore though here. Oh, okay. <sighs> Let's animate that. We'll have to go down to three, but I think we need to do a deal with Karizev, basically. We are not really getting anywhere otherwise. And if they if they just top deck the three damage spur burn spell, well, whatever, I mean, they did. They can also go toss a card that you should face draw another one and toss it, but in any case, we are not. Uh, if we go down to one, it's the same thing. Like, if we block the the, the monkey, same thing happens, and we draw another land, so it's just gonna be game over, I believe. Yeah, I don't think my open will miss the kill here. <laughs> it's a little bit too obvious for them to do so. So yeah, despite having a bad draw and flooding super badly, we were extremely close to win against their best draw, pretty much. So you know, this is fine. Uh, okay. Ponty is medium, so I think, yeah, we got the Nisa, I don't really like Nisa in this matchup, and probably that's about it. Yeah. You don't have to sideboard match, the, what you are doing with your main deck is already pretty good in general. But again, you know, Monorite is not the best deck in standard for no reason. can keep. Cool. Uh, sure. Probably just gonna play a constrictor here and pass. The cool thing is that you are not too soft to their game two plan with the planeswalker and whatnot because you are applying quite a bit of pressure and you have some answer to both Glorybringer and Hazaret and Chandra, so it's it's not that big of a deal their uh post board plan basically. Alright. I think we'll just kill Karizev. And attack, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep. The courier is not attacking, interesting. I don't exactly know why. Hmm. Silicon did not forget really why the courier did not attack, it's weird. They want to chum block with it already? Seems strange. I guess they don't want to attack into the Quagmire. That's 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 what's happening here. Uh problem now is that they will get to Glorybringer next turn and will not have a ton to deal with that. This is why there is four grasp post board. Oh, no glory bringer. That's good. If they attack, I'm not gonna animate Quagmire. Oh, they don't have a shock or a cheap revolt. Otherwise, they would be attacking with the courier. So that's great. They need. Maybe they have glory bringer in hand though. Has a red cannot attack or block. But now we can make our thing bigger. So I think we'll just have enough tempo to kill them before they they kill us basically. Uh, yeah, alright, I think we do it like that. The thing is, Hazard can pretty much block forever. <sighs> I 
it's gonna be difficult. We are slightly flooded. It's good that if anything we have three um utility land that we can use to do things. Yeah, you got me. Don't really want them to Chandra my Gear Hulk away. Yeah, they have the Chandra. <laughs> and the third Carrizo. Alright. That's kinda funny. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult to beat, unfortunately. Probably need to kill the Chandra. So we could put two counter here and attack everything on Chandra, I guess. This is the best we can do here. Thing is. Yeah, this is not super good. They can probably just let Chandra die and swing back for, for actually lethal if they have a glory bringer in hand. I don't love that. On the other hand, if we just let Chandra leave, it's not gonna get better. Weird that they blocked here. Oh, this was supposed to attack Chandra. I misclicked. Well, if their last card is Glorybringer, we lose no matter what. Ramona Prunes. And Crop Crusher doesn't kill us, I believe. Oh, yes, it does. With the Chandra ability. Yeah, this matchup is still tough, and when they have great draws like that, it's certainly difficult, but we had poor draws, which did not help. Uh, so this was supposed to attack Chandra, at which point they would have been forced to make a block or Chandra would have died. They still could have been blocking with Bomat Courier and kill us. I think we were in a position where we could not really afford to just stand there and not do anything. But yeah, flooding is never where you want to be. Uh, that was round three. There's one more match left because I, I already had one match won when we, um, when we started recording. Uh, but yeah. I'll see you guys for uh, the final.